Hush puppy released from a Chicago prison and admitted in a California prison. That has been trending on social media as a lot of false rumors spreading around on social media that Hush puppy has been released by the US government. These are many other things I'll be talking about in this particular video. Just before I jump right in, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel. But if already subscribed, Thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. Just before I start talking about Hush Puppy being released from a Chicago prison um, that a lot of people are now talking about right now on social media, I just want to talk about one notorious person that is a person of Tumpolo. Tumpolo is actually an uh, ex militant of the Niger Delta who was, you know, being um, actually declared wanted by the government uh, over four years now. But why his case? with the government is still in court but right now Tumpolo appears to have won the case at a Lagos um, you know high court and that is what a lot of people are now jubilating about according to a report that made around on social media is that Tumpolo has been living in a bush for over four years and was actually deserted by friends and family members who care less about him what do you have to say about Tumpolo all I have to say is congratulations to Tumpolo for winning uh, his uh, case uh, against federal government at this particular time as his uh, assets will be given back to him yes the story of hush puppy has been making around but i want to actually draw your attention to this particular video that a lot of people are now commenting about on social media just listening to the video uh, a couple years ago, 2015, the nation of Nigeria got a brand new president. He was elected in large part on a promise that he was going to clean up corruption in that country. Um, Nigeria has a big economy. It's a fairly well-off country. Um, but its economy is really dominated by the oil sector. And the oil sector is famously, fabulously corrupt. And so uh, the new president came into office saying he was going to clean up corru corruption in the oil sector, which is so dominant in their economy. He's going to clean up corruption in the government. And then this happened. Uh, last week, look at that. Investigators got a call about a suspicious looking woman who kept taking bags in and out of an, of an apartment, a seventh floor apartment. That is a foreign media company actually talking about Nigerian corruption that, you know, is fantastic, fabulous. <laughs> that is something that a lot of people are now responding to on social media. Why a lot of people are saying, let us not give Hush Puppy attention. Let us give attention to this um, set of people. And they've started Big Brother Niger and a lot of people appear to be like you know distracted at this particular time and that is something that a lot of people are still talking about on social media because most of the youths who have the energy to actually do something about this they are watching big brother niger uh season five and that is something that is distracting a lot of people instead of them to focus on this thing but sometimes you need to actually entertain yourself because you can't kill yourself with the problems you know happening in the country <clears throat> in a country like nigeria um especially because this is like action fame md fainting before the house committee on niger data is something that a lot of people are now calling out um these men as dramatist personnel that is they should go into nollywood um you know industry and start making movies for us that is what a lot of people are now talking about on social media but i think uh these kind of things uh is a bit or is damaging to nigeria especially when we travel out of this country not only the case of Hush Puppy, not only the case of uh, Evinctus and a lot of Nigerians being arrested all over the world, but this kind of thing is, uh, you know, damaging to Nigeria as a country. That is what I believe about the whole thing. 
Yes, most Nigerians were arrested in uh, Europe in connection to courtesy. I don't seem to understand because young people that traveled out of this country just to sojourn or find a good, uh, you know, pasture or a, green, a greener pasture for themselves, instead of them to focus on why they uh, actually travel, they focus on, uh, you know, a kind of courtesy and then start fighting each other in another man's land and most of them were arrested and a lot of people are now calling out nigerians for perpetrating uh, troubles in their you know in their country and that is a bit damaging to nigeria out there and that is one thing that i need to actually you know advise a lot of people especially those people that travel out of this country to focus on why they are there rather than focus on uh, activities like uh, courtesy and the rest that is one thing i'm advising a lot of people to actually focus on because um if we continue like this i think the next generation we are handing over disaster to them that is what i believe about the hotel i kind of understand what is happening in this country that a lot of people are tired of what is happening in this country and that is pretty serious and that is something that a lot of people are now you know getting themselves away from this just to try and entertain themselves watching uh, entertainment like big brother Nigeria show and the rest but instead of some people to actually focus on the main problem of nigeria they are focusing on big brother Nigeria show criticizing the show meanwhile this show actually employed a lot of people that is what i will tell you because a lot of people had direct employment from Big Brother Nigeria show and indirect employment. Are you saying that we should retrench those people and close down the show? That is one thing I'm asking. Let us focus on major things happening in Nigeria, like insecurity, um, like um, you know, um, uh, joblessness, and uh, like um, you know, unemployment and the rest, hunger in the land. That those are the things we need to focus on and corruption back to hush puppy hush puppy has been released from a chicago prison and this has been making a round on social media a lot of people have been saying that hush puppy finally released and that is something that a lot of people are getting all twisted at this particular time because they seem not to understand how the u.s prison works in this particular case when you are being transferred from one prison um to another you are released from that prison. That is when uh, some people logged on to the website of Bureau of uh, Prisons in US and they got out to see that Hush Puppy has been released uh, by Chicago prison and they were jubilating about. But Hush Puppy has been released from Chicago prison and will be admitted in California prison. And that uh, this actually happened on 20th of july and that is what a lot of people don't seem to understand because they don't understand how the prison system in u.s works but understanding how the system works in u.s you will get to understand that hush puppy is still facing his charges and he's going to face those charges in california not in chicago again uh, maybe uh, that should be a kind of a plus for hush puppy because the um, normal correctional facilities that hush puppy was actually taken to in chicago uh, happens to be one of the most notorious um, you know um, prison in the world but right now in california i think man it may be better for hush puppy in california that is what i believe about the whole thing unlike the rumor making around that hush puppy has uh, disengaged his lawyer gal pizeski gal pizeski actually spoke with um you know um vanguard and punch online and then said that he is still hush puppy's lawyer and that is something that is standing at this particular time because a lot of rumor making around that hush puppy could not fund the lawyer again and this guy Guy has come out to actually clear the air based on this particular issue now i think that is uh, pretty good for hush puppy and i think is a plus for hush puppy but uh the main thing is that hush puppy has a lot of evidence uh pointing right into his eyes and then he cannot be pleading not guilty that is what i believe about the whole thing uh what i believe is that hush puppy need to actually 
plead guilty just to reduce the J term for himself. That is what I believe because uh, this is um, too clear that Hush Puppy committed most of this crime, if not the, all the crimes. That is what I just want to actually say at this particular time. But guys, you need to actually drop your comment below on the comment section so that we can talk about this in our next video. Just before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media.